Many consider Kentucky the only place for good bourbon. But we believe there is good bourbon all across the USA. Can bourbon from another state compete with the best of Kentucky? We find out if our belief is true. We put a Kentucky bourbon up against a similar one from another state. We will taste and rank both, but only one will win. Let the battle begin. This is Versus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name is Arthur. And I'm Scott. And this is Artfully Bourbon. Today's versus battle is Holiday Soft Red Wheat Rickhouse Proof. Comes from the Holiday Distillery in Weston, Missouri. Versus the acclaimed Larceny Barrel Proof, a weeded bourbon from the Heaven Hill Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. The versus record sits at two to one with Kentucky narrowly in the lead. Before we taste, here's the rules. We'll each taste both bourbons in these Glen Cairns. Then we're gonna rate each one from one to 10. 10 being the absolute best thing we've ever tasted, and five just kind of being a good average bourbon, and one being something we're basically gonna pour down the drain. Pour it. Our rating will be based on the experience of aroma and taste. All right, the competition preview. Scott, tell us what we get for Kentucky. So Kentucky is sending to the plate the Weeded Larceny Barrel Proof. This one is batch number A123 and is a whopping 125.8 proof. The mash bill is going to be like 68% corn, 20% wheat, and 12% malted barley. It's six to eight years. Um, old. This one has previously been awarded Whiskey of the Year by the highly acclaimed Whiskey Advocate. Mm -hmm. The suggested retail price is $60. It's going up against the Holiday Soft Red Wheat Rickhouse Proof, a Missouri bourbon, and it's facing stiff competition today, but let's see what it's got. We really like the Bob and Bond version of this, and I am excited to pour this one. It's a similar age to the Larceny at six years, and it cost a little bit more at $75. Let's battle. It's got a beautiful color. It is, it's, it's pretty. It's beautiful, nice and dark. Yeah. All right, aroma. The nose has some, you know, standard bourbon notes. Mm -hmm. It's like a like maple syrup, kind of a touch of cinnamon. I get a little, tiny bit of char, maybe just a little oak oh, as I, well. I get a lot of flavor. Yeah, definitely a lot of flavor. I think it's more on the fruit side for me, like red fruit, berries, or like some cherry. Yeah, I think it might be a little more orange, maybe. Yeah, it might be, or just like in addition to so a yeah. little more. Yeah, citrus. Yeah, I've also got some corn, maybe some grain on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I get the grain notes as well. It's really nice though. Yeah. Let's let's taste this taste. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, the flavor in the mouth is complex and balanced. Yeah, it starts off with with uh, some cinnamon, some caramel. Yeah, and then it gets really fruity for me. Yeah, heavy on the cherries, maybe some citrus. Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's it's kind of like it has an orange peel in it. Yeah, I like it. Just a hint of chocolate in this one as well, I think. Yeah. And just maybe a little bit of earthiness, you know, a good amount of spice towards the end of it. Agreed. It has really nice chocolate fruit and sweet and earthy vanilla spice. Um, just, again, well balanced. Lots of flavor. Okay, ready for glass B? Glass B. All right. Let's compare. Yeah, this one's really dark and rusty. Yeah, I totally agree. They're pretty similar. Yeah. Color. Okay, aroma. All right. You get notes of maple. Maple syrup, cinnamon. Yeah. 
I get cinnamon and toast. Have you had cinnamon and sugar toast? It's been a while. Mm. This might be the liquid form of that. It's there's like a sweetness with just that like that baking spice in there. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's taste it. Yeah, that it that is so good. The cinnamon, nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baking spices and maple syrup from the nose really translates really nicely to the palate. The nose might be a little sweeter than the taste because I get a little more spice and oak in the palate, which minimizes that sweetness a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very syrup forward. I'm, I'm digging that syrup forward mm -hmm. flavor. A little bit of the toasted uh, flavors coming through. Yeah, it's got a great mouthfeel and lingers really nice. Yeah, it's warm. I, I get a little Kentucky yeah. burn from this one, but I like it. I like it too. Okay, let's rate these. Who is gonna win this battle? Okay, Scott, let's start with glass A. What number did you give this one? I gave it a number eight. This thing is just like a total spice bomb. I mean, it's got some great flavors. Some really nice, sweet, mm -hmm. bold, spicy notes. Like super complex, but it, at the same time, it really just like holds a good balance. Yes. How about you? I, I like that little review. I give glass A an eight. All right. As well. We agree. Uh, to be honest, this was a tough one though. The aroma and taste are complex, has so much going on with the cinnamon and fruit, chocolate and syrup and spicy oak, it, like all the flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little more heavy grain in the aroma, but it gets you know a little more subtle once you get into that repeating taste um, of the bourbons. Wow, so glass A gets an average rating of eight. Eight. All right, let's see how glass B compares. All right, glass B, I give a seven. The aroma is very similar to glass A, but I get a lot less fruit from the taste. A little heavier on the baking spices and maple syrup, a little more of that nutty flavor. It has a good mouthfeel and a decent finish. Okay, I gave glass B a number eight. Oh man. Yeah, the, this one delivers a lot, but mainly it delivers those great weeded notes um, of baking spices, and sweet flavors, which I personally love. The proof definitely is noticeable, but it really doesn't overpower the palate. It just kind of really paves the way for like a nice complex, although you know, not a super long finish. Yeah. All right, well, that gave glass B a combined rating of 7.5. That's right. Okay, let's see what's in the glasses. Do you know here which bottle is for each this glass? Is, this is a tough one. So, no, but let's find out. All right. So, glass B is a Larceny Barrel Proof. Woo! All right, so that means what? That means that Missouri takes the win in wow. this versus battle of the weeded barrel proof bourbons. That is crazy. Yeah, look, I think what it comes down to is these are both great, super strong. You know, both of these will wake your senses. I was a little worried about the holiday going up against the larceny. You know, it's traditionally a beast. Yes. But the holiday Rick House stood up and fought. And, and won. Knocked out. <laughs> nice. You know what I think? I think we need to do a blind that includes these two. Maker's Mark Cast Strength and Weller Full Proof. Yeah, those four, that would be killer. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Okay, this was a great battle, but in the end, Kentucky now has two wins and the USA has fought back and now has two wins. We'll be back next week with another challenge. In the meantime, 
check out the Versus playlist and watch the other episodes. And do you have a bottle or pair you would like us to include in a Versus battle? Let us know in the comments and chances are we'll include it in a future episode. And if you want to see more Kentucky versus the USA, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It truly helps us out and we're grateful for all of you who have joined on this bourbon adventure with us. And we look forward to sharing it with you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace. Peace.